2020 ended almost a month ago and with it brought a lot of new upcoming game reveals thanks to the Game Awards 2020 happening back in December. One of those game reveals that came out of the event was a game I never really thought I would be super excited for. But thanks to its brand new details and of course its gameplay trailer, I am now more than ready to get my hands on this. Crimson Desert, a new open world adventure RPG, is a beautiful and realistic game, realistic in terms of graphics, made by Pearl Abyss who are the creators of Black Desert. But don't get it twisted, Crimson Desert won't be like anything they've done in the past, and is mostly centered on the single player experience. This game is not an MMO and won't ever be, thanks to the new details again confirming this. You'll be able to explore a massive world with your group of NPCs or online friends, and discover beautiful locations all filled with dangerous creatures, villages, cities, and people to meet. When Jeff Kigley first mentioned Crimson Desert as a part of the Game Awards, he emphasized that this title is truly next-gen, and it really really shows. So before we start with the new details, make sure you guys drop a like on this video so we can win against the YouTube algorithm, and let's start right away. Thanks to a new interview of the game's developers on MMOculture.com, we have a lot of information to go over for Crimson Desert. They of course start the interview by talking how the virus affected the team and the game, replying that Crimson Desert is still moving forward like expected and it's going very well at the moment. One question asked was that if we can still expect Crimson Desert to release in 2021, to which they replied yes, the game is coming this fall 2021. Also Crimson Desert is not being developed on an upgraded version of Black Desert's engine, but rather on a completely new next generation game engine that will truly show the next gen scholars. Pearl Abyss has many years know-how in developing and optimizing the proprietary engine, and they will do their best to ensure that users can enjoy Crimson Desert on a number of devices, including next generation devices. Crimson Desert is coming to both current gen, PS4 and Xbox One, and also next gen and PC. Another question asked if Crimson Desert's single player and multiplayer experience is inspired by any other game, to which they replied, when it comes to single player and multiplayer modes, it's difficult to talk about other games that might have the same system as Crimson Desert. Internally, we believe that Crimson Desert is a genre of its own. Crimson Desert doesn't have separate single player and multiplayer modes that are independent of one another, but rather the two are organically connected to provide a unique gameplay experience. But of course, those who wish to play a purely single player game can do so too and they will truly enjoy it. Crimson Desert is not a traditional MMORPG, but rather an open world action adventure game based on a narrative focused single player campaign. There is also a multiplayer mode, and players will find that the single player and multiplayer experiences are both connected. Crimson Desert was previously introduced as an MMORPG, but the genre has changed in order to better express the narrative, story, and action the developers is striving for. They also want to implement cross-platform play into Crimson Desert later in development. The game also won't have any exclusive multiplayer content. The gameplay will be based on single-player play that is organically linked to the game's multiplayer mode. This makes it possible for players to play the game in a style of their choosing, for example inviting friends in your story or playing alone. Going forward into the interview, one question asked if we will experience some siege battles in multiplayer like is seen in the thriller. They replied, although sieges will exist, players may find that they differ from existing forms of factions versus faction siege. We are preparing various types of PvP content and large-scale battles, such as the siege battles shown in our gameplay Twitter. It is, however, too early to comment on the scale of participants for such content, as the content is still in development. Now, let's get on to the main character, Macduff, and his customization. Macduff's cosmetic appearance can be changed depending on the gear that's equipped, but his face is not customizable in order to convey the story more naturally. However, in addition to the main story, you can create a separate character in the mode Another Journey. When you do so, you can customize the appearance of that character using Pearl Abyss Advanced Customization System. It's also said that the deeper you dig in the world of Crimson Desert, the easier and more 
accessible the world becomes, providing an adventure that will satisfy players regardless of their experience. Another question asked, it seemed that there is a major focus on melee combat, be it with weapons or wrestling moves. Will these moves be effective against large enemy groups as compared to a magic spell? To which they replied, they are going to be effective when you disable your opponents in small scale battles, which are different from the mass destruction of magic spells. However, you must have large scale attacks carefully as they require a lot of resources in the world of Crimson Desert. The world itself will be huge and will have many different vistas to discover. There will of course be various hidden places to explore and random encounters to be had. The nature of this content will vary, but the developers have tried to design it in a manner that does not prove too stressful for players to enjoy, and a story that can last forever. Although the single player mode has an ending, players can continue to play the game through what the developers are calling another journey mode. This mode can be played whenever the player wants, without seeing the single player ending, and is organically connected to single player mode so that players may enjoy a unique gameplay experience. The another journey mode is a place where you are free to customize the character almost however you want, and a world full of opportunities awaits. Now, Crimson Desert at its core is set in the fantasy world of Parol, a continent with varying climates including the titular desert, frozen wilderness, and plains populated by a mix of humans and fantasy races. The massive wars that happen between human nations have awakened mythical beasts, while a desert-based cult worshipping a powerful ancient god also poses a terrible threat to this already dangerous world. The game follows Macduff, the leader of a band of mercenaries who all have stories of their own. Those characters include a runaway slave, a mother who left her children, and some kind of orc or ogre who lost his mother in a tragic incident. Macduff will recruit them from around the world by earning their respect, assembling a team that can face the turmoil that has been caused by the fall of the king of Demonis, a tyrant who had unified the continent. Players will travel the world solving mysteries and fighting a wide variety of foes. Exploring the world and completing the quest will reward you with new items and skills. The combat features a combo attack system where you'll team up with other mercenaries in your group to coordinate your assaults. The setting itself features a wide variety of weaponry including axes, swords, pistols, and cannons. Alchemists can also imbue some weapons with additional abilities. Alright guys, I'm super excited for when Crimson Desert releases in fall 2021, and make sure you let me know if you are too, by either liking this video or putting a comment. Of course, subscribe to stay tuned. Thanks to Space Beer Gaming, Rush Shingbati, I Am Legend, Diamond Hunter 45, Themistocles, Rickno 23, and Kianzo Fagari for being a master member on the channel. You can become a survivor member for as low as 99 cents a month. It'll help me and the channel as a whole to make more and better videos.